Green flags in the air, 20 laps here tonight. So tired along will lead lap number one. Mark Farnes in that second spot. Or Farnes, however you want to say it. We'll stick with Farnes in the number nine. They go three wide. Justin Wyckoff in the 24W. He's had a great, some great runs here in 2019. Has Wyckoff. See if he can't put it all together here tonight and capture that first main event win of the 2019 season here in the last race of the year. As it will be Farns. This one car smoking. That's the MF Racing teammate of Mark Farns. Some smoke coming out. Nick Wachlick. Farns trying to take over the race lead from DeLong. Ross Krajak comes into the pits. As we got one car spinning in turns one and two as well. Two laps down. Green flags in the air. We're underway. And Tyler along your race leader with Farns in the second spot. But here comes Farns, going to drop the nose down the inside, trying to see if he can't work his way around your race leader of DeLong. They go side by side off of two, down the back straight. Who has a couple of cars tangle up off of turn number two. That's Wayne Dunsworth and Megan Ray. They both get refired. So the 42 goes around now. That will bring out the yellow flag, and Megan Ray also could not get the car turned around as we look to get the green flag back in the air once again looks like it's in the air we're underway okay. they go three wide back there for that four spot Justin Wyckoff Jace Kadupel and Aaron Collier is Tyler DeLong back out in front with Mark Barnes in that second spot Justin Wyckoff though it running trying to Clear Collier for that third position. See if he can put the pressure on these top two drivers. As Colby Olivet goes around. Yellow flag will fly. One car smacks the wall. Davey Watkins, John Howard, they still get into it. <laughs> and the green flag's in the air. We're underway. As tired along out front, followed by Mark Farns, Justin Wyckoff in that third spot. But here comes Aaron Collier and Jace Knupel trying to go three wide with them down the back straightaway into turn number three. Wyckoff down low, Knupel in the middle, Collier up top. Wyckoff almost spins around off a of turn number four, gets back in the throttle, though he's able to catch the car, but will lose the spot to Collier as well as Knupel. The 55 J and Jared Wilson, not too sure what he's doing, but hey, man. Just came back out on the racetrack as the 87 Jack. John Gary spins around for turn number two. He gets the car refired. That's going to bring a black flag out for Jared Wilson as Mark Farns tries to look to the inside of Tyler DeLog. DeLog, though, able to hold him off right now for your race lead. But here comes Farns down the inside, side by side for the top spot. Going into turn number three. Jason Knubel had a Big wiggle in his car. Rick Hughes almost spins around at the start finish line to make a contact with Colby Olivet in the 32A. Hughes are able to save it. A lot of side by side racing, a lot of contact being made out there on the racetrack right now as Mark Farns will lead him off a of turn at number four. He's your new race leader with DeLong in second. Call your Knupel, Wyckoff, and Sabowski in the 10X. Michael Smowski in that number 10 machine. 
trying to work his way past Toby Wibito right now, move his way up into the sixth spot. As right now, your top five, all freight training around the bottom, catfishing down there. It's Farns, DeLong, Collier, Knupel, and Wyckoff with Wibito and Sabowski going, getting ready to go side by side for the sixth spot. And Jared Wilson, he's about as lost as a woman driving. <laughs> Down there in the hot pit area, can't quite navigate his way through that either. As Nate Diaz loses by TKO, it's Mark Farns out front with DeLong still in that second spot. Collier and Kadupel running third and fourth on the racetrack. Wyckoff in that fifth spot. Sadowski once again go, going to put the pressure up on the top side. Try to work his way around. Some of these drivers in the top five. He pulls up side by side with Wyckoff. Looks like he's going to be able to clear him into turn number one. Trying to pull up side by side with the 72 machine of Knupel as they come off of turn number two. Halfway through tonight's main event as Conrad Santa Cruz just came out the cross flags. Wayne Dunsworth spins around. Watch out down there. Ray is Dunsworth able to take it off of the racetrack. No harm, no foul. Sabowski now side by side with Knupel. Looking for that fourth spot as DeLong trying to work his way around the lap car. Bruce Sipes. Mark Farns getting right behind the 62 machine of Megan Ray. Now down on the inside of her is Aaron Collier and Sabowski, Knupel all trying to work their way around the 56 of Bruce Sipes. <laughs> They'll all clear the 56 of Sipes as Sabowski goes down the inside of Collier's hot rod, trying to take over that third spot. Once again, Sabowski starts race back in the 23rd starting spot. Has raced his way all the way up to hopefully right now a top three for him. They still can't get around Aaron Collier. <laughs> now he finally will clear Collier for third. So he has tired along and a Mark Farns in his sights as a race off of turn number two. Will be five laps to go this time by. As now, Farns right behind the seven machine of Dunsworth. They come off a of turn number two. Dunsworth almost drove Farns all the way down to the in infield as they race their way down the max straightaway. Four laps to go here in tonight's main event. Four laps to go as Mark Farns, Tyler DeLong, your top two drivers, Michael Sabowski in that third spot. Coming off a full head of steam now off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway, pulls up side by side with the 57 machine of DeLong. He'll clear the 57 of DeLong going into turn number one. See if he can't work his way past the number nine machine of Farns with three laps to go. Actually, he did not clear DeLong. DeLong takes back over that second spot off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway they go. Farns, DeLong, Sabowski, your top three off of turn number four. It's going to come down to one of them as Sabowski now pulls up to the outside of the MF racing machine of Farns. Off of turn number two, DeLong down the inside of the number nine. Sabowski to the outside. Sabowski loses some ground there on the top side of the racetrack. DeLong, though, able to find some goody down the inside. He's side by side with Farns. They make contact. Here comes Sabowski up front. White flag in the air. Sabowski took the white flag. Can he bring it back around for the checkered? Michael Sabowski, Mark Farns side by side off of turn number two. They've left Tyler along the 57, about three car lengths behind. Top side Sabowski, bottom side Farns off of four. Give it to the 10 of Sabowski. Your 2019 track champion caps it off with a main event win. And Michael Sabowski climbs out of the car. Your 2019 track champion here at Arizona Speedway. <laughs> 
Man, a busy night for you. Started out in a different car here tonight. Had to run back home, grab this hot rod, start tag the main event. And here you are tonight. Not only tonight's race winner, but the 2019 Arizona Speedway Track Champion. How's it feel? Dude, it, I, I am so stoked right now. It, it's unbelievable. I, uh, you know, I had to siphon gas out of the other car to put it in this car because I didn't have enough money to, to go out to the gas station to get some gas. <laughs> Does that thing on have enough gas for me or what we got? Good. We filled it up. It's good. <laughs> well, man, I know you got a whole bunch of friends and family up here. A lot of people back home you like to thank. We did it for Seth right here. This is, it's all for Seth. <laughs> um, Rips, Napa, Cunningham, uh, Electric. Um, fuck. Uh, uh, God dang it. All the sponsors are on the other car. <laughs> Everybody that helps Team Seth out, me out. He's got all the back of those. <laughs> so do you actually. Let's see. Okay, <laughs> Phoenix Children's Hospital, Arizona Desert Star, Flatiron Electric, Efficient Roofing, First Responders Plumbing, Deuce Wild Racing, Rigid Masonry, Custom, uh, I don't know what that is. By the way, this looks terrible from Riley's angle, I can just tell you that right now. All right, so congratulations, your main event winner. Hey man, AUD Motorsports came up, stepped through with a plaque for you, so did Rip from Rip's Napa and Don Burner, he Rip actually signed that one for you. So two plaques here tonight, a trophy. And man, I can't wait, car owner here, we gotta talk about setup, what, what we going to put in the car here? Run, definitely run high on three and four. I don't know about one and two, I don't know, I never could get that turn. All right, well don't, don't tell Romager that, all right? <laughs>